Yo, real quick, before the video starts, uh, the YouTube video editor is completely gone, and if you guys didn't know, that's exactly what I used to edit every single one of my videos. Uh, the YouTube video editor, it was provided by YouTube, and they, they got rid of it as of the 20th of September, and uh, this is because it didn't get enough use or whatever, so I had to do some research, and I looked up a free uh, editing software called like Resolve or something like that, so that's what I'm using right now. This is the first video that's going to be edited with that. So I'm not like an expert with it yet. I know the gist of it. I kind of know what I'm doing. I'm going to get better as it goes on. So just bear with me. Thank you. Yeah, I'm like, oh God. Oh, oh my God. Bitch, I run the game. Y'all just commentate from the side. I'm like, oh God. Oh. All right, what is up, guys? Edits by Chris is in the house, stalking you like usual. And obviously, right off the bat, you guys can tell I do not have glasses anymore. Uh, long story short, they got completely ruined, they got completely destroyed, and I might not get them again. Uh, what happened was, is I was at a friend's house maybe a week ago, uh, right after the mixtape came out, and, uh, I was on this, like, mini scooter thing, I was just chilling, and my friend's driveway goes like this, you know, it's got, it's on, like, a wicked big slant, and, uh, there's a bunch of people over, and this one friendly person thought it was a good idea to come up behind me. Now, this scooter thing was, like, for two-year-olds. I mean, like, it didn't have brakes. It barely had a steering wheel. It was, like, literally just... I was just sitting on it while everybody was playing basketball. And, uh, he came up behind me, literally just ran behind me and, like, pushed me and pushed me and pushed me and ran. So now I'm going down this little scooter thing with, like, wheels, like, this big, like, 50 miles an hour. Not really. Like, so fast down this driveway. If I kept going, I would have completely, like, destroyed myself. So I put my feet down, and I went forward, and I literally slid on the cement on my face. And... My glasses got completely shattered. My face was absolutely destroyed. It healed so quick. It's been a week uh, since that happened. And my face, this entire side of my face was gone. Literally, the only thing left is, like, you can barely see it. It's, like, right here. It was, like, all, like, my entire... I have a video of it. I don't necessarily have a video of it, but you can kind of see my face. It's from Snapchat. My Snapchat's in the description. Uh, for some reason, I completely forgot to save any video where I went like this because I did take videos like that. But you can kind of see how my face is messed up. Uh, I got a little thing on my chin, stuff on my side. So these are some videos from my Snapchat story. My Snapchat's in the description. Uh, follow me because, or add me, you don't follow on Snapchat, because I want to get them Snapchat story views up. So yeah, watch this. Uh, this is just from that, this is the day that it happened. So I was like acting crazy. Don't take anything to an account. So this is what happened to my face, kind of. But yeah, so that's why I don't have any glasses anymore. I probably won't get them. People are telling me that I look better without glasses, so it's just whatever. I don't really care anymore. Anyway, to the mixtape. The mixtape went over extremely well. Uh, everybody that watched it absolutely loved it. There was no complaints. Everybody that even was worried that it was going to be bad, all of them said it was good. Uh, it went over extremely well. The song, from what I heard, the, the favorite songs from people were, one was Mother, two was the song Fake, and three was the song Misunderstood. Everybody loved those three songs, uh, especially Mother. People are telling me that they got Mother on repeat, watching Mother all the time. People were even telling me that Mother was, like, starting to make them cry. So that just, that brought me some hella happiness. I was extremely happy to know that I was actually, like, making an impact and stuff like that. But it went over extremely well, and I'm planning to keep doing it and stuff like that. But I'm definitely not done with YouTube. It's what I love to do. Uh, like I said, I got a new video editor that I'm learning with right now. Played with it for a couple hours. I'm starting to get the gist of it. Uh, and, yeah, it's just been a great time. Uh, I love every single one of you. A mixtape's going over great. If you guys liked it, show it to your friends. See how big we can get this thing to go. It was amazing. Uh, the entire filming process was just great. I went over to Nolan's house every single day after school and made that. I literally didn't finish it until the day before it came out. So, uh, yeah, that was cool. I had to delay it because I literally got extremely sick, like, right before it came out. And... And, like, it w I got sick, like, three days before it came out, and those three days were essential because it wasn't done yet. So, I, I had to reschedule it, unfortunately, but literally did not change anything. All of you guys loved it. Uh, they liked how I upload every single video, every single song individually, and then I had one video big. Uh, but the only issue is, it did upload weird. I had it all scheduled in order. If you look at my video manager, you can see. Well, you can't, but I can because it's my channel. But uh, you can see it's uploaded in order. But since I had them upload at the exact same time, you know, you can schedule videos to upload. Like, I don't just upload them individually at that time. I just schedule them to upload. 
uh, YouTube just uploaded them in weird order. That's why uh, that's why you'll see the video the songs are not in order. But it really didn't change anything because if you want to listen to the mixtape in order, in case you haven't listened to it, you can just go to that big video. Uh, there's a whole website for me in the description where there's a whole website for EBC, which is me, obviously. Uh, there's a whole website in the description of every single song, and it's in the description of this because it's in every description now because it's just added to it. And uh, it, it brings you to a website where you can download the mixtape. You can It gives you links to all of my social media. It gives you links to every music that I've done, whether it's a feature with Nolan, whether it's whatever, music video, and just photos. It's, it's fun. It's fun. I'm really enjoying it. I hope you guys are enjoying it. It seems like it's working. I love it. I love it. And I love making YouTube videos. I got a lot more stuff planned, I promise you. Uh, and yeah, I'm just, I'm just chilling. It's great. It's great. I love it. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Fun fact, I put on this shirt like five minutes ago only because I knew I was about to film a video and I have pajama shorts on right now because why not? You know, like, yeah. <laughs> I just picked up that brand new iPhone X. Uh, can't you see? It's brand new. Uh, you can tell because it's got the, the X. <laughs> That's a T. I literally just, I'm so stupid. Uh, but yeah, so anybody got a free phone that I can have, that would be nice. I went to Factory of Terror yesterday. That was pretty scary. It was a good time, though. I'm planning on having a bunch of people come over my house, or I go over somebody's house with a bunch of people, and we can film, uh, some dope videos. I got a lot of stuff planned, guys. It's gonna be great. I promise you stick with me. Uh, tell your friends about me, because we gotta get that sub count up, right? We're gonna get to 500 before the end of the year. And, uh, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm loving it. It's amazing. You guys are just, like, just being able to chill here and just sit here and talk to this camera. Like, you guys are like family. I can't even explain it, man. It's like, I was, I went to Newport Creamery yesterday, right? And we were watching my old videos. We were looking at my Instagram. And we were all dying laughing. I mean, like, dying laughing. It was hilarious. And it was, I mean, look at this clip from that exact night when I messed up my face. I was at Mark's house and we pulled up my diss track. And we were dying laughing because, like, it's just memories, man. And we were rapping the diss track. It was hilarious. Just look at this clip. <laughs> ready? Let's go. I'm ready. You think it's gay? Ready, ready, ready? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yo, you're all talking no bite. You learn how to curl, you're such a white girl, man, you made me want to hurl. But they're saying that it's hot when you're 15 and it's still having a kiss and girl. <laughs> Talk about how this diss is bad, but deep inside, you'll always know. You're in 10th grade, but your height's still real low. Uh. <laughs> you guys know, I got that hustle in me. It, nothing's gonna change it, and uh, I'm in high school now, I'm a freshman. We had this cool thing called Battle of the Classes, where uh, we went to, we go to the gym or whatever, and we compete, it's like freshmen versus, versus sophomores, versus juniors, versus seniors, or whatever, we all get, go against each other, and freshmen didn't come in last, we came in third or whatever, we beat the sophomores, that was pretty cool. Speaking of Snapchat, here's a pic of that Battle of the Classes, because why not, because I know how to use this editor and it's amazing. Uh, here's a pic of that, here's a pic of me when I got home. I was so happy because we beat the sophomores. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys are okay with the no glasses look. Probably not going to get them again. Uh, I had glasses for five years, and I can see completely fine. Uh, I really don't think there's a need for them. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. I'm going to be making hella videos. Try to make one a week, maybe one every two weeks. Nah, one a week most likely because I got that grind in me. I like the new editor and stuff, so. I don't know, man. The, the beginning mixtape was absolutely amazing. 2018, it's going to be a bunch of singles. I'm going to be making a ton of singles with uh, maybe some music videos and stuff like that. And then during 2018, I'll probably work on my next mixtape, which will come out in 2019. And I know you guys think that's a long way away. You're like, oh, 2019 second mixtape. But you don't understand. This stuff takes a while. Like, it takes a long time. I've worked all summer on that bad boy. And uh, I'm extremely happy with how it came out. And I hope you guys are too. I hope I can make a difference. I hope you guys can. I hope it helps you out in any way possible, whether you're stressed, whether you're unhappy right now. I hope you guys can listen to that and uh, just be happy and enjoy life. That's what I'm trying to do. It's what I'm trying to make other people do. Hope you all understand that. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got for you today. Uh, like and favorite the video if you guys enjoy subscribe to my channel Edis by Chris I try to make the videos that you guys love and that I love too so peace out Edis by Chris out you guys know I love you stay awesome have a great day you guys know I love you um, and yeah I'll be back shortly see you in a bit guys peace